Welcome back, my name's Claire. Look what I've managed to get hold of. I have finally bitten the bullet and bought three um, of these cups. So I've got, this one's got five compartments. I've got a four and I've got, also got a three. So my pour today, I'm gonna use the five compartment um, cup. So really excited, never done this before. Um, I've mixed up some colors which will all blend together. So basically pinks and blues, so that if they muddy, um, then it doesn't really matter because it will just make another nice colour. Um, so split cup, first attempt, let's go. These are my colours. So I've got sky blue. Let me show, try and show you the consistency. I've mixed it with PVA glue and water. Um, so it's quite thick, but it also flows nicely because I want, if you imagine as it's flowing from the cup, it needs to, it needs to pour quite well. I've got, I think this one's manganese blue by Amsterdam. And in fact, that one feels a bit thinner. It doesn't really matter the consistency too much, as long as that they're all the same as each other and that they flow nicely. So I had mixed them up and stirred them and checked them, but already that one feels thicker. So it's good just to recheck just as you're about to use them. This one, De La Rowney Purple, really pretty colour. Um, this is an Amsterdam pink. I um, can't remember, oh, it's here. Let's have a look. It's this one, uh, Persian Rose by Amsterdam. And then I've got Pearl White by De La Rowney as well, this paint here. Um, so as I said, this is my first ever time using a split cup. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, it makes sense to me to separate the colours. So to separate the blues, to separate the pinks. Um, oh. The other way, pink. Separate the dark colours with the white. Right, I think that works as an order. So the pinks are separated, the blues are separated, the two pales are together. Um, so it's either a case of having the two paler colours or the two darker colours together. You, um, I'll go. I'll go like this. Um, so I'm looking and see and thinking: Are they different sizes? The different sections. difficult to tell I think probably the outer two are probably lot I just don't know I'm not sure I'm going to go in this order and I'm just going to pour the paint in I also wondered how much paint to mix because I couldn't tell the size of the chambers so actually I've done a pretty good job I've I've made just fractionally too much probably the right amount if I filled it and filled it all the way to the top so I actually think that these might be similar sizes all these chambers now something's telling me not to I'm going to change it I'm going to put the dark blue here and then the white on the end Right, so they're all of us about a similar level. I'm using a 40 centimetre canvas. You can see a bit of texture to this, and that's because um, the, the pour underneath was quite a thick pour. So I put gesso on it, so it is still slightly textured. So I will only ever reuse this canvas for a thick painted pour. I'd never use it for a Dutch pour, because otherwise that texture will just show through. Um, I quite like to pour into a bit of a puddle. So I'm just going to put some, some of the paint back down that I've got left over. I haven't got a lot left over. Right. I don't know whether this will work. So it's got a little, a little lip here. So the colours, I'm going to tip it. The colours should come to the top and then we'll come down. Hopefully as one single jet of paint down there. Um, let's go. Let's see what happens. Right, I'm just going to stop a minute because I really like what's happening, but I'd really like to be able to twist the canvas. So I'm actually going to put my canvas up onto my um, cake turntable because I like what's happening, 
but I, I want to be able to turn it. So I've just raised it up onto my cake turntable so you can see I can turn it round. I'm not going to spin. I'm going to spin it slowly as I'm pouring, but I won't be spinning it afterwards. This is just so that I can turn it as, as I'm pouring, just very slowly. Wow, look at those colours. I've just realised the massive benefit of a split cup is that you don't get the muddying. The five colours I have used are distinct over the entire canvas. So I am really happy. Right, I'm just going to put some flow extender down just so I can stretch this out. Okay. Right, I'm just going to burst all the bubbles. I've, so I've got some flow extender down. It's not as thick as I would like my flow extender. Uh, in terms of the, the volume of it, but it's, I, I've put down everything I've got left. Now, there's lots of bubbles in this, which is a bit of a shame because it's creating now lots of little speckles. But better to get the bubbles out now than to have a really pitted painting at the end. Right, let's tilt this out and see what happens. So I think to start with, I'm just going to stretch it just to get as much of the canvas covered as I can. The flow extender is working reasonably well. It is there because you can see it's pushing against the flow extender. Right, now let's do tilt over the edges. Right, I'm just bringing the weight of the paint back to the centre so I can have a look. That is pretty cool. I have never done anything quite like this before. Um, my only concern is I've got a lot of work paint still on the canvas. It's still pretty heavy, but I like the composition. So it's a gamble. Do I tilt any more off? And potentially ruin the composition. Let's just feel how heavy it is. It just feels quite heavy still. I think I just had too much paint.
So you've got these much bigger stretches of the dark pink. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to tilt that anymore. Wow, you can see all four, all five colours so distinctly without muddying. I have never done a pour like that before. Really happy. Right, let me show you up close. This is so cool. I love it. My favourite colour, com well, one of my favourite colour combinations, pink and blue together. Um, it's a shame about all the cells, all the speckles. Um, it's just because there was a lot of air bubbles. Um, but look at the lines. They're just incredible. There's no muddying, which just feels so surreal because whenever I've done a ring pour or a straight pour before, there is so much muddying of the colours one side of the painting. Where, whereas with this, there's none. And that's because the colours do not mix until they come out of the cup. So normally with a straight pour or a ring pour, they're mixing as they're being tilted out the cup, but they don't. They just mix, actually, to be honest, they just mix as soon as they hit the canvas. So this is so, so different. Um, slightly odd um, composition with the centre, how the centre has been left there. Um, but overall, I think there's a good balance with the light and the dark. I'm so really happy. So I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry and I'm absolutely amazed at how well the colours have all stayed. I'm so excited by this prospect of a, a split cup. The dark pink, the blue, the light pink. Um, it, ju it, it just worked. The colours have all stayed so well. Um, sorry, dark pink, light pink, dark blue, light blue. Yeah, four colours. Um, it's not perfect. Um, I definitely want to thin down the paint. There's got there's a bit of a texture to it. It's a little bit a little bit bumpy because the paints are quite thick. So I think if I can thin them down, they should still all stay separate. Um, but I get a much a much sort of glossier, smoother finish. But just look at the details, the fingerlings. Loved doing um, on a turntable, so I'm spinning it so that you get that really interesting design. Um, but presumably you could do all sorts of designs with a split cup. So I'm really excited to, to get started and get trying, um, experimenting. That's the very centre. So there's quite a lot of air bubbles, little speckles in it. And that's just because I didn't let the paint sit long enough. So it's a learning curve. I've learnt a lot. I'm loving the results so far. So uh, yeah, excited about the next pour. Great. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any comments um, on this painting, please do let me know. Great, thanks for watching. Bye.